In this video, we're carrying on from where we left off in the Back to Basics Part 1. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this block and we are going to put a hole in the block. And we're going to talk about how and why you do that. So there's a couple of ways. We can go back to our original sketch. I should say, if you haven't already watched part one, watch part one, that will get you to this block. Okay, I'm not going to redo it in this video. So continuing on, if we go back to our original sketch and we just pop a hole in here, remember we haven't constrained anything. I'll explain constraints later in the series. But for now, if I close that, you can see there's a through hole through the block. So if all I want is a through hole through the same face as the plane that my block is in, then I can just create that in that first sketch. Now that's good, but it's not very really flexible. I can't make that a blind hole. So it has to be a through hole. And I can't make that hole go through one of these sides. So let's look at how we do that. I'm gonna go back to that sketch. And I'm just gonna delete that circle. And I'm gonna close that. Now my hole is gone. Now I wanna create the same hole on this surface. And there's a couple of ways when you're doing a sketch, when you already have a body. First thing is that body has to be active. So that sketch will appear in the tree. And if you look at the tree, everything inside that body is offset. So there's an offset there. So if I close that tree, they're all inside that body. So now when I create a new sketch, if that body is active, I'm gonna create a new sketch. I'm gonna create it on the X, Y plane again. So that's the original plane that we created this block. Say so, okay. And then I'm gonna draw my circle. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this view section, which will allow me to see halfway through this block. It allows me to see these crosshairs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw that circle. And I'm gonna close that. And you tell me what you expect is going to happen now. Nothing. And the reason nothing's happened, if I turn that over, you can see the sketch is sitting on that face, but it's not doing anything right now. So if I want to make that sketch become a hole in this block, I have to use either this one, the pocket, or the hole. And there are reasons why you might use both. I typically use the pocket. The hole has more parameters, so you can put threads and things in a hole. Um, we'll try both. So we'll do the pocket. And now the pocket goes for a dimension by default. So it's going five millimeters in. So if I turn that over, it's actually going five millimeters, but it's going in the wrong direction. So if you look here, that's still the same height. So if I hit reverse angle, now we have a five millimeter hole in our 10 millimeter block. So there is a bottom to that hole. It's not a through hole. But what if I wanted it to be a through hole? I can change this type through all. And now it's a through hole. So that's great. I'm going to leave it as a through hole for this. That's great if what we want is a hole on that same plane. Now, what about if I want to put a hole through the side of this block? Again, the temptation is to click that side and then click new sketch, and it will create it on that side, and it'll be perfectly in line. The problem with that is if we change this model significantly, we can change the reference to this face and that hole will literally move and be on a different face. So we don't want to do that. So what we do for now, and that's being worked on to be fixed, but for now, we don't do that. What we're going to do is we select away so that we're not selecting any of these faces. And we create a sketch. 
And now when we're creating a sketch, if we look at our model, we can see the major plane. So the X, Y plane, you can see it's actually written X, Y. And the X, Z plane or X, Z plane. And that little guy there, the Y, Z plane or the Y, Z plane. So I'm going to do, I want to put my hole through this side. So I'm going to select this plane. Let me just turn it so you can see I'm selecting that plane there. And now you can see I am looking at the side of my um, block. And if I want that block, I'm going to just create a square hole this time because I can. Now the hole can be any shape. You can draw any profile and turn that into a, a pocket. So let me close that. And now we can't see where that sketch is, but it's actually inside this block down the center. So if I now make a pocket using this sketch, um, there's a sketch there. I'm going to use this pocket and I'm going to tell it it goes through all and it pops right out the side. But notice it doesn't come out the other side because we're coming from the center we're going through all, so it's just going to pop through that first face. If I want it to go through both sides, I can just use this symmetric to plane, which means go either side of the plane. Now when I hit that, if we turn that around, we basically have a through hole. And it's going through side to side. So that's how you create a pocket in the solid. Now we're going to just do one with a hole. So I'm going to take a look at how to create a hole. Now with a hole, it wants to create a round hole. And we want to create it on a face. But again, we don't want to attach it to a face. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a sketch. We'll do it in the XY plane. We use our sectional view so we can see the middle again. I'm just going to pop a hole in here. Yeah, close that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that sketch. And I'm just going to move its location up to the face I want it on. There it is. So that sketch is sitting on this face. I want to go down this way. I'm going to select that sketch, select hole. And now I can do things like I can make it an isometric M6 hole. And I can thread it. And I can choose if I want it right handed or left handed. And I can make that hole go into a dimension which this is all the way through because it's 25 millimeters. Or I can choose through all. And I can also choose if I want to have a countersink on that hole. And then I can choose if I want to model that thread. And then I can choose to update the view. And there it is. I have a thread. Let the countersink starts. That'd be nice and easy to thread into. So that's all I'm going to do for this part of the video. It shows you how to make holes in a block. The next one I'm going to show you what happens if you have multiple bodies and you want to make a hole and how you do a sketch. And some people have issues with they create a sketch and it won't create a hole in the body that they want it to. And I'm going to explain that in the next video. So if you like what you've seen, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.